uh, were you surprised by the effort uh, uh, of uh, Russell Westbrook and how effective he was at certain points during the game? I mean, he pretty much carried that team, uh, you know, end of the second half, uh, end of the second quarter, I mean. No, not a surprise. Uh, I mean, he and Durant basically carried the, the scoring for their team. And, and then Jeff Green, you know, being the third guy that can uh, score some points and make some things happen, that's when they're really dangerous. Uh, so, you know, if Durant is struggling scoring, of course, there, there's somebody else is going to figure it out. And, uh, you know, he was able to attack us in transition in a lot of situations uh, where we had to turn the basketball over or on uh, misses from perimeter shots. Uh, and that's what he does, and, and that's what they do best. So uh, I don't expect that to stop unless we stop it. <laughs> what adjustments do you make to stop it? Hmm? To stop Westbrook, what adjustments do you make, or, or is that something that you guys live with if Durant is, is held in check? No, we don't We don't live with transition points or points in the game. It's that simple. Uh, so, you know, we, we continue to make sure that we're being efficient offensively, having good offensive possessions, uh, making sure we're taking shots where the floor is balanced and we can get back, uh, can't turn the basketball over. You know, those are things that feed into uh, what they like to do best and, and when I think Russell Westbrook is at his best. So you know, those are things we can't control. Uh, from there, you know, if he's just making good, great NBA player plays where he's making shots and doing things that regardless of how the defense is playing him, mean, he's just making a good play. Chris Those Ray. are the things that you know you can then live with, but you can't live with seeing him you know, land the basketball up in the basket time after time. The way, I've, the way I've heard it, he was last year he was very right-handed, and if you took that away from him, he's timed him a little bit, and he's not like that anymore. He's much better about going the other way now. Well, I mean, he's in the NBA, so uh, you know, as as you grow, as get more and more opportunities you know he's basically been a starter now for two years and you know he's seen every defense and played against all different guys so you you know you start to pick up what teams try and take away from you what guys can and can't do and that, I mean, it's just a part of it and, and I think he's proven that uh, he's going to be a, a really good player in this, in this game and be around for a long time and uh, you know for now there, there's some things that we have to try and take away from him and from his team and you know the, those are the transition points like I said, you can't necessarily stop guys in this league from scoring. But, um, you know, you can't give away layups. And, uh, you know, they had 42 points in the paint. And they scored uh, 19 out of 24 from the free throw line. So there's 61 out of 79 points inside of the paint or with no defense. So, you know, that's something that we'll have to stop in order to be successful in the series.